In a recent couple of videos, I discussed my plans to become a full-time artist, and the biggest critique that I received was, what about AI art? The comments weren't as kind at presenting this idea, and I got messages saying things like, AI will replace my job, and that specifically AI art would end illustration. I understand the concern, but I'm really not worried about it. I hate to break it to you, but AI art has existed since the 1950s. Of course, back then it was much simpler and like any technology has progressed over the years. The AI images produced back then were in black and white created by code rather than using images like the ones that we know today. In 2014, that's when AI art took a turn from being based on code to being based on images. And guess what? Loish was still popular and loved enough to sell out her first art book in 2016 two years after the generative AI was introduced. And she still to this day has sold many more books and has a vibrant art career. Her last book sold in 2022 and was backed on Kickstarter by 7,595 people and brought in 460,000 pounds, which translates to roughly 579 thousand US dollars. That most recent example of her last book happened just a year after the explosion of AI that we know today. People have been copying Loish's work long before that because of her unique style, but I don't think any of that has negatively impacted her ability to make money as an artist at least not significantly enough to end her career. Obviously, we can't all be like Loish. In 2022, Valerie Lynn got her start here on YouTube and has grown exponentially since then. She has, at the time of recording, reached 600,000 subscribers, and that was after her start in 2020. Her content and artwork doesn't seem to have been negatively impacted, and she has recently moved to a place of her own, roommate-free, and seemingly sustaining off of her art career. But once again, not everyone can be like Valerie Lynn. After all, each of those last two examples got their start before 2022 when the infamous Mid Journey was released. But that doesn't explain the story of Sketches of Shay, who found success becoming a full-time artist within a year of her journey here on YouTube. And she didn't even start posting on her YouTube channel until February of 2023. And now she has an audience exceeding 100,000 subscribers. Yes, she is an artist on social media, but I'm certain an art career without is also possible. I'm sure it's no surprise, but art markets are still a thing. Galleries still exist. Animation studios still hire artists. This notion that you shouldn't pursue an art career because of an existential ideology that will all be replaced, in my personal opinion, is dumb. Now listen, I understand that our jobs are already being replaced with AI, but saying you shouldn't pursue an art career because you'll be replaced by AI to me holds the same space as we shouldn't do anything good in this world because we're all going to die anyways. I would much rather build an art career that is fulfilling and teaches me about business and taxes for the next five years than have a job at a company I hate, living paycheck to paycheck, and not even having a chance to save up money like I was before. There are so many opportunities for creatives, and I know that if I never even tried to have an art career, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I make art because I love to make art, not because I want to make money, but that would be an added bonus. Let's say AI does make artists obsolete. We still have a couple years of lawsuits and court cases regarding copyright and infringement before AI art could even be copyrighted because at the moment, AI art is not eligible for copyright in the United States. And I don't think you could ever reach a point like that because it has even more issues involving explicit content and misinformation, but let's entertain the idea for just a second. Most people that consume art, especially art content on YouTube, are artists real artists. A lot of us spending money on art is based on our parasocial relationship with the creator, wanting to support them and enjoying their work enough to want it in your home. This career I want is not what I expect for the rest of my life. I have other things that I'm passionate about and would love to have the opportunity to pursue if things don't work out. 
Like, I love to own a bakery or a cafe. I love coffee, breakfast, baked goods, and I'd love to additionally use that space to host art markets or painting classes or those wine and paint things. That's my kind of backup plan. And guess what? Even then, I'll still be an artist making art. And by the time that were to happen, I'd have a greater wealth of knowledge on running a business and perfecting my recipes. I'm not worried about AI art. I think it has a long way to go. And while I'm sure the people that left me comments about AI art making my art career obsolete, probably didn't make it to the end of this video and probably left comments without even watching. I'd love to continue this discussion in the comments. I wasn't originally going to make this video, but I felt like it was important to address, especially with so many new subscribers saying they want art careers too. And I want you to know it's possible and not to listen to anyone's uninformed criticism of what you can do. Before you go, I want to thank everyone so much for 2,000 subscribers. It has been an incredible milestone to reach and it's been really fun having a small community with you all. I've just really appreciated being able to talk to you guys and share kind of just what's going on in my life, how I'm planning things out, and kind of how I want to build a career for myself. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to support the making of others like it, then you can head over to my Ko-Fi and become a member. I really appreciate you watching and staying until the end. If you can't support me monetarily, that is plenty enough, just watching until the end of the video. So thank you so much for getting to this point, and I will see you guys next week when I show you how I've illustrated my first ever children's book. Bye.